In this example, I'll show you how you can use the TI-84 to find proportions under the curve. In this example, we have the standard normal distribution. Again, this is with a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. We want to find the area that falls below the z-score of 1.07. As always, I suggest that you draw your distribution and shade in the region. Now the first step we can do on our calculator is go to the second button. Go to second, then to distribution. This will be above the VARS button. Choose the option normal CDF, so that's option number two, and press enter. For those of you with a newer calculator, you will see a lower, upper, mu, and sigma, and then a little in paste. This is a template. For those of you with an older calculator, I'll show you what you can do in just a moment. So first put in your lower bound. This is negative 1 e to the 99. This is essentially negative infinity. All normal distributions go from negative infinity to positive infinity. So we want to put this in as our lower bound because as we see over here, this just keeps going on forever and ever. So our lower bound is negative 1 e to the 99. We can enter this by putting in a negative. 1, here's the E button, this double E E, and then we go to 99. Nine. Press enter or scroll down and put in then the upper bound, 1.07. This is the Z score that we want to find the area below. Then you'll enter in your mean, which in this case is 0 because it's standard normal distribution, and the standard deviation. In this case, again, it's 1. When you're finished, go ahead and press enter on the paste. And then let's go ahead and scroll over to see what this looks like. So that template helped us or just bypassed us having to do this part where our command will come up as normal CDF. You'll enter in your lower bound separated by a comma. Comma button is right here. Then the upper bound, then your mean and your standard deviation. So again, if you have an older calculator, you will not have the template. You'll have to go to this step right here. Then just simply press enter. So the proportion that falls below 1.07 is 0.85769 and so on. Now let's just go ahead and check on the table to see if essentially this is about the same. So if we go to the standard normal table, we can see that if we want to find the area that falls below 1.07, then we're going to look at these z-scores on this side and we want to find 1.0, that's the beginning of our z, and we find it here, so z 1.0, we scroll over until we find the column of 0 0.07, and we see that that's 0.85769, and sure enough, 0.85769 is the same thing we got on the TI-84. Just verifying to make sure it's, it's correct. 